travelers, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about an essential aspect of exploring Koh Samui, Thailand's tropical paradise. We'll be discussing the pros and cons of hiring a scooter during your visit. So, if you're planning a trip to this beautiful island, this video is a must watch. Let's dive right in. First, let's talk about the advantages of renting a scooter on Koh Samui. Renting a scooter gives you the freedom to explore the island at your own pace. You can visit the famous attractions like the Big Buddha, Namuang Waterfalls, and Fisherman's Village without relying on public transportation schedules. Compared to other means of transportation, scooters are generally more budget-friendly. You can save money on taxis or tour packages by having your own wheels. Koh Samui is a relatively small island, and with a scooter, you can easily access its hidden gems and secluded beaches that might be difficult to reach otherwise. Explore off the beaten path locations and enjoy a unique experience. Riding a scooter allows you to immerse yourself in the local culture. You can interact with the friendly locals, discover local markets, and stumble upon charming cafes and restaurants that you might otherwise miss. While renting a scooter on Koh Samui offers numerous advantages, there are a few drawbacks to consider as well. Let's take a look. One of the biggest concerns when riding a scooter is safety. Koh Samui's roads can be busy and challenging, especially for inexperienced riders. The traffic can be chaotic, and local driving habits may differ from what you're used to. Always wear a helmet, drive cautiously, and be aware of your surroundings. many scooter rental companies on the island do not provide insurance coverage. In the unfortunate event of an accident or damage to the vehicle, you may be responsible for all the expenses. It's crucial to read the rental agreement carefully and consider purchasing travel insurance that covers scooter rentals. Please ask the shop you're renting from what the cover is and what you are covered for. Koh Samui's tropical climate brings occasional heavy rain showers, especially during the monsoon season. Riding a scooter in wet conditions can be challenging and unsafe. Be mindful of the weather forecast and plan your trips accordingly. To be honest if it's raining heavily stay off the scooter. Finding parking can be difficult sometimes due to so many people riding their own, especially in popular tourist areas. You might have to search for a secure parking spot or pay additional fees for parking but most of the time you can find a gap next to someone else. Always park responsibly and follow the local regulations and take a picture of where you parked so you don't forget. Now that we've explored the pros and cons of renting a scooter on Koh Samui, it's time to make a decision that suits your preferences and abilities. If you're an experienced rider and prioritize flexibility and adventure, renting a scooter can be an excellent choice. However, if safety concerns or lack of experience worry you, it might be best to opt for alternative modes of transportation like taxis, shared taxis, or organized tours. The shop we rented ours from is brilliant, they're based in Chiweng and it's called Sai Travel and Bookshop, Sai Bike Rent. See the link below. Remember, always prioritize your safety and well-being while exploring this beautiful island. Whether you choose a scooter or another mode of transport, Koh Samui will undoubtedly enchant you with its stunning beaches, vibrant culture, and unforgettable experiences. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this information helpful. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel tips and destination guides. Safe travels, and see you next time.